Astronauts are a resourceful bunch. They're the best of the best of the best of the best. They're ready to do whatever it takes to get the job done, whatever it takes, including drinking pee. They live on the International Space Station for the better part of a year, where air, food, and water are precious resources. Sometimes you have to take a hit for the team. Every drop of water on the International Space Station was carried there from Earth by rocket, possibly in someone's bladder. The cost of launching a single kilo into orbit can be over 10 grand. Do a little back of the TP math, and the value of a single kilogram of water in space is worth almost as much as a kilogram of yellow gold here on Earth. That's actual money gold, and not pee joke gold. The punchline is that astronauts need to conserve water. For the longest time, there wasn't any way to take conservation to the next level. All the wastewater, including pee produced on the station, was just held, possibly uncomfortably, and resulted in dancing. It needed to be disposed of. So in 2009, NASA got serious about conserving water and launched the Water Recovery System to the International Space Station. What is with you guys in names? I would have shot for the Pre-Cycling Internal Solution System just for the acronym. In fact, that's what we're going to use now. Ever since, astronauts have been drinking their own urine like Captain Red Beer Rum on Black Adder. Generally, after it's been purified by the recovery system, or if you prefer, pee-cycled. Outside of that, I'm sure accidents happen, and whatever they get up to in their own time is their business. Speaking of which, here's a video of beloved Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield demonstrating the PISS system. It all takes water vapor, sweat, and gray water produced and excreted by astronauts and turns it back into drinkable water. So on Earth, you can clear dirty water by just boiling it. Collect your steam on a cold surface, pure, pee-free, and ready for drinking again. Pro tip, this requires actual working gravity, which isn't readily available when you're in free fall. So the recovery system looks like a big spinning keg, which creates artificial gravity. It's heated and steam is produced. Dirt and contaminants, such as the most purified pee molecules, are pushed to the edges of the drum while the steam is carried away. The artificial gravity isn't perfect, and only 93% of the water can be recovered this way. This means that dirty waste water builds up inside the space station and needs to be flushed with the rest of the trash. Now, astronauts can't pee cycle everything on the space station. Trash does build up, but they got a solution for this too. The most recent cargo delivery spacecraft is always left attached to the space station. So instead of doing laundry, which would use up their precious water and is super boring, seriously, if you went to the trouble of sending me to space and asked me to wash my clothes, I'd get a little snippy. Astronauts do what the rest of us only dream about. They just wear their clothes until they're totally worn out, and then they throw their laundry into the excess module. Once it's completely filled with pee, laundry, food remnants, and other uh, stuff, the spacecraft detaches from the station and re-enters the Earth's atmosphere where it's incinerated. No fuss, no muss. Also, clearly for this episode, we're only going as far as pee jokes as poop jokes are off the table. So yes, astronauts are drinking their pee. They close their eyes and they remind themselves that it's just pure water, completely safe and delicious to drink. No pee molecules left here. As astronaut Koichi Wataka said, here on board the ISS, we turned yesterday's coffee into tomorrow's coffee. So would you be willing to drink the water recovered by the water recovery system? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. And our Patreon community is the reason these shows happen. We'd like to thank Linda Shepard, Elette Avron, and Bodo, and the rest of the members who support us in making great space and astronomy content. Members get advanced access to episodes, extras, contests, and other shenanigans with Jay, myself, and the rest of the team. Want to get on the action? Click here. If liberty was all true, I can't live, I can't give it in. Oh, here it is.